Matching properties is all very well, but what happens when we actually need to change an object on the screen and we don't have any reference for it? In that case, what we probably want to do is to be changing the line type of the object. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up my properties quickly and uh, we'll turn on the, hopefully that's turned on the smart. There we go. Uh, oh, no. Make sure we got the right thing. There we go. Okay, so what I want to do here, first of all, is I want to change the line type of these center lines that we can see here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my, I'll just pin that open. I'm going to go to my center line and you see it's white and it's also the line type is continuous. So if I click on the continuous, you can see we've got our line types that I can select from. And at the moment, there really isn't any kind of center line loaded in there. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to come here and I'm going to have to load. So I'll click on load. And from the list that appears, if I click down here, what we should find, oh, there we go, center times center 2, there you go, times 0.5. That's good, that'll work for me. So I'll select that center 2 and I'll click OK. And you can see there that's now saying that this is the center line is using the line type center 2. So when I click away from there, you can see we've actually got a line type center 2, which is quite useful. Now the next thing I want to do is to look at actually changing the layers that these objects are on, because all of these are hidden detail. So I'll start just by clicking and selecting all of those, and I'll move them onto my hidden detail layer. Okay, so if we escape out of there, and you can see what we've got here is it's still, that hidden layer is still using a straight line to show its detail, which obviously with hidden detail you don't necessarily want that. What you're probably going to be looking for is something like a dashed line. So now what I'll do is I'll come back to my properties layer, I'll click on continuous, and I'll load another type of layer in, which will probably be some form of dashed line. So let's have a look down here through the options that I've got. And I think probably dashed 2 is going to be very suitable for what I want. So I'll click OK onto that. And I'll click my dash 2. And I'll OK that. And what we'll hopefully see now, provided the scale was correct with it, there we go, is a dashed line. Yeah, so that's showing me my hidden line detail. So what I can do is I can come into the rest of this uh, set of lines, which are all the hidden detail, just click on these gently. There we go. And I can move them onto my hidden line layer. And there we go. Very, very simple, very, very easy. Now I've also got um, some detail that's missing here. And if I wanted to put that in, this is going to be a little bit more difficult because we've actually got a hatch in here. So what I'll probably do is just hide that hatch layer. In fact, I'm going to freeze it uh, just to make things a little bit easier to see. And I'll start working on my center line. Now my center line is actually going to go, it's going to be a line. And I'm going to go from the center point of this circle, I'm going to track down to about there. I'm probably going to go in. There we go. And I'm just going to draw a center line right the way down through the center there. Now that's actually going to show that what I'm going to have is a, um, a hidden line. I'm going to sink a hole right the way through this section here. So what I'm now going to do is I'll now start working on my hidden layer. There we go. And I'll make sure that I've got uh, quadrant switched on. There we go. And I'll make another line. And I'll go from that quadrant. And I'm going to zoom in as far as I can do. Uh, let's try and make this there we go straightforward to see from there and we'll come all the way down and I'll click there and there and enter and then I'll do exactly the same here 
I'll extend all the way down off that line until I intersect with this one and I'll create a new line showing my hidden detail. Yep. Now we'll talk about hatches a little bit later on because obviously if I turn the hatch back on it's going to go straight through this. So really what I've done there is I've used the layers and I've used my different line types. I've loaded a couple of line types in and I've shown how I can finish this drawing and set it up correctly so that anybody viewing that would know that what we've got is hidden detail inside these plates that you're not going to see from the outside.